what up guys welcome back and today i've got the long-awaited archers early to mid game guide for tactics ogre reborn i took into account some feedback from last video you guys wanted like a little summary section up on the screen just to kind of more uh, clearly cover my points or for you to like skim through kind of like how i had it on the snacks and strats video series that i did for the class guides on tactics ogre one vision so without further ado I hope you guys enjoy this. I hope you guys get a little something out of it. Uh, the video here, you're going to see primarily just archers and wizards doing most of the work here. Uh, my berserker does take in a few hits. A denim as well does kind of soften up the opposition here and there. But you'll see the knights are just there to hold the position. Uh, the berserker and denim are there to kind of soften up, uh, punch a couple of holes here and there. But really the archers, the wizards, and the beast tamer over here with the blow dart guns. She's going to be doing a whole bunch of work. And so yeah guys, if you enjoy this, subscribe, leave a like, leave a dislike, show it to your mama, show it to your baby. Do whatever you gotta do y'all <laughs> archers are part of the first batch of classes you gain access to in tactics ogre reborn they are long-range specialists and excel at harassing frontline enemies with stun backline mages with silence or picking off weakened and fragile units you may find that their damage drops off during the mid game but they can still support both frontliners and other ranged units Let's discuss their utility, skills, equipment options, and synergy with other units. Utility. Archers are ranged specialists. They assist your front line by picking off fragile targets or harassing enemies with status effects. Archers can grant accuracy buffs to themselves and allies, ensuring they never miss their mark. They can be built to maximize damage with two-handed bows and crossbows, or built for flanking the enemy's rear with one-hand variants alongside a parry dagger. Skills Support Archers can access the following weapon skills, one-handed and two-handed variants of bows and crossbows alongside some daggers. They also have Constitution 1 and Insight 1 to give them a bit of extra bulk or just enough MP to launch another finisher or tremendous shot. Auto Skills Eagle Eye is one of the archer's auto skills, which has a chance of triggering at the start of their turn. This grants the archer and their allies 100% accuracy on their next ranged attack, which cannot be parried, and 100% chance to inflict any on-hit effects. This is excellent for archers using bows that inflict stun, silence, or charm in the late game. This also pairs well with other potentially ranged units like Beast Tamers, Valkyries, and Ninjas. Active Skills Tremendous Shot It's an active skill that converts your next ranged attack into an automatic critical hit for 40 MP. This can still be parried, but it cannot be countered. This is great for pushing an enemy off a cliff, guaranteeing on-hit effects, and doing big damage to fragile or feared and or breached units. You can typically fire outside of your range if you have the height advantage and you're using a bow. Equipment Archers are typically going to want gear that maximizes that dex contribution like it's a 401k account guys. The loss in defensive capabilities will not matter as they're typically far from the front line. For a flanking archer you may want to try more defensive gear or outright just switch to maybe the ninja class. Synergy Early on, archers are great as they inflict great damage at range, allowing your melee units to approach and dispatch foes with mighty impacts or berserks. As you progress, you might need to rely on other units to continue dealing consistent damage to anyone that isn't wearing robes by using warriors or valkyries to inflict breached or terror knights to inflict fear. You can also try finishing off nearby units with your dagger, allowing your heavy hitting frontliners to continue punching holes elsewhere. Pairing an eagle eye archer with a blowgun wielder or two is a great way to disrupt enemies with a plethora of statuses. Charm, petrify, poison, silence, and stun. Closing thoughts. Archers are great early on as their tremendous shot or their rank 10 bow finisher allow you to deal decent damage or leaden. As you continue through the game, you'll notice that your damage output decreases, but that doesn't necessarily mean archers are now trash. It just means you need to be strategic about their usage. Using tremendous shot or a two-handed bow gives you a big RT penalty, so you'll have to minimize movement while aiming for maximum value targets, like mages or feared slash breached units. 
archers are some of the units that can pick up cards with relative ease and safety so unless you need to kill a target you can often go for a physical or critical card one-handed bow archers with daggers and eagle eye are fantastic for spreading status alongside other supporting ranged units and statuses can easily turn the tide of battle in your favor and that brings us to a close guys if you guys enjoyed it please like please subscribe and uh yeah, see you guys next time.